Hello, I'm Bob Foyers and this is my studio here in Bentwater, Suffolk. Today I'm chatting with my good friend Leon and we're going to be discussing some of our frequently asked questions. So I'll hand you over to Leon. Hi Bob, good afternoon and good evening, good morning, whatever time it is, how are you? You're right. Yes, very good yourself. Excellent, yeah, not too bad at all. In this chat we've decided that we were going to have a bit of a plough through our list of frequently most asked questions. And the subject that we thought we were going to have a chat about today was, Bob? What to wear. So I'll let Leon go first, because um, obviously we've got a little bit of a list going. By all means, yeah. Now, when, when, we, when we're looking through the list, there is a significant number of things that you should and shouldn't wear, and both of us, we, we try and go through about all that with our clients anyway, but I think the number one that comes up on the list is um, no logos. You definitely don't want logos, uh, says the man who stood here with a logo on his shirt. But you, I, think it's, I think it's a distraction, and I think it takes away from any professionalism that you're trying to convey by possibly hiding behind a brand. What do you think, Bob? Um, well, to, to me, it's usually the kind of, uh, so for, for example, the prime one that I, I really don't like is like the Nike Tick. And that's not because I don't like the brand. It's just because it's such a dominant logo where like um, a Polo Ralph Lauren, where it's just the little logo on the thing. That's not a problem. I have got no problem at all that. Usually they make nice dress shirts and everything like that. So that isn't an issue. But it's these big grand logos that cover the chest, basically. And they look you're not advertising that brand that's the, the kind of what i try to say to my clients is if you work for nike then fantastic advertise the brand but if you don't work for nike don't advertise them you the whole point of a headshot is that you're advertising yourself of course of course so that that's kind of my mentality over it what's next Next on the thing is, uh, well, th th this one I think is actually quite a good one, and this is probably what you are a, sort of a bit more au fait with, is dressing for the job that you want rather than the, the one you have. Yeah, I think, I think that's more key for, especially um, with people that are looking to uh, make applications for jobs and get promotions, or people like actors and entertainers. Um, they say that, even Spotlight refers to it on their website, you should always appear as though you're already fulfilling the role that you're after. That way then it's not that far of a stretch for somebody to imagine you doing the role based on them seeing you in the photograph. Brilliant, brilliant. What about colors? Well, plain, it's gotta be plain, it's gotta be bold, it's gotta be simple, um, but nothing too loud, <laughs> unless that's the character that you are. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a big <laughs> red, red and yellow and green and orange. Um, I think plain colors is quite good because the attention is supposed to be this, not this um exactly and if this is the attention um do you do the squint test bob when you look at the photos yes uh yeah so i i look at it and if if, if so when i look at a photograph and I look at a photograph of a person if their outfit takes more of the space in my sort of visual then for me that's too distracting okay well, i also so sorry i'm cutting you off no, you carry on. You I was going to say, you, you yeah, go. I, I do something a little bit different as well. So apart from the, the how much space is on the picture, um, I also do the one where you get them to squint when they're looking at the photograph. And you say, where are my eyes being led to in this image? Now, if it's your fancy blazer with the big shoulder pads and the big collars, etc., that's not working. But if you're naturally drawn to the face, then you know that we're going in the right direction. Because if you're generally led that way, you know that someone else looking at the picture that doesn't know you is potentially going to look the same way. Exactly. And also that, that then leads on to sort of minimal patterns. So with, with also with minimal patterns is my thing. So I try and tell people that um, if they're wearing a shirt with loads of stripes and zag zigzags and everything like that, it becomes very distracting. Uh, ladies blouses, for example, if they've got low, loads of floral patterns, also another distraction. So, you know, keep it a plain shirt, plain blouse, plain shirt, simple is best. Yeah, and I also think as well the material sometimes uh, plays a part in that. If you're looking at some of the um, some of the suits that people have turned up in, especially some of the ladies, especially uh, metallic panels or shiny material, um, it might look great when you're going out, but photographing it, that extra reflection is another distraction that can pull you away from the, the focus in hand, the face. Uh also, the fact that if you're wearing something with a with metallic reflection, can't, quite often, it's a bit like glasses, you actually get a glare back into the camera, which oh, is, is, is actually not an easy thing to remove in Photoshop. So, so I always suggest to clients, if, especially if I've seen them wearing it, to ask them to get changed. Yeah, does that also apply to jewellery as well for you, Bob? 
well, I'm, I'm minimal is best. I, it's when it comes down to headshots, keeping it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. If you do wear jewelry, then wear the jewelry that you normally wear. Don't just suddenly turn up and you know blinged out. Big hoops. Yeah, no, stud. no, 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 absolutely. So just just keep it incredibly simple. And just the whole point is, uh, so I explain every time I do it. Just keep it simple. Yeah, I think that also has got to apply to the makeup as well because when some of the some of the clients turn up with a full face of makeup, it doesn't really give me much flexibility on how we can change it with lighting and certain types of makeup, especially if it's heavy. It, that really thick sort of bold makeup that covers everything. Um, it also takes away I think, some of the texture of the skin, which you end up with photographs that can potentially look like they've been heavily photoshopped and they haven't. It's yeah. just, it's that thick. Um, do, do you give your clients any form of guidance on makeup? Um, it's the same as me. Uh, probably very much very similar as you, uh, less is more. Um, not too t heavy on the foundation is also what I try to um, explain. And also, some of the makeup actually has reflecting elements in it. It's a yeah. Oh, do you uh, mean in the, uh, when they do the highlighting with the yeah, flashback? So the, 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 it, yeah, so it then it affects yeah. the way the light falls. Um, and sometimes I try and also, if people are bringing makeup with them, I ask them to bring their makeup with them. So we, if we feel it's not working, because obviously I shoot tethered. So if we look like it's not working and, and the makeup is either too heavy or not, not applied enough then we go through and that's just add it up um, and occasionally also which i find quite useful is i actually sometimes have a makeup artist here and we, we pay for an extra makeup artist just just in case anyone doesn't understand the meaning of the word tethered because that's one of our phrases um it's connected to a large screen so basically while you're shooting you can show the clients and say this is what we're looking like so far this what do you like what do you not like and let's change a bit of this makeup because it's not working etc that, that i think that's the the gist and then um i actually turn mine off sometimes just to stop the distraction because sometimes people get too um distracted by looking at themselves on the screen but um it's definitely a fantastic tool and it, it also means at the end of the session you can you can go through and say now look how well you've appeared with nice simple colors simple makeup your hair's impeccable um, we've got no major patterns that are throwing us out and you've left the bling bling jewelry on the couch which is great which is perfect absolutely perfect which is perfect well thank you leon um and i look it, forward to always a pleasure yeah no so i look forward to talking to you next week i think these are brilliant i'll, I'll speak to you again bob cheers bye bye